So today's question of today is, could Hillary Clinton have won a second term in the 2020 election? So, of course, she did not win the presidency back in 2016. So this map is contingent on that she did win the presidency back in 2016, thus the reason for a second term. So on your screen right now is how Hillary Clinton, I did this video yesterday, how Hillary Clinton could have won, would have won the 2016 election, and that would have been her path through the Rust Belt because she really was not going to win any other state, even if she did narrowly win the election. So we finished off our 2016 map at 278 to Donald Trump's 260. And since we can't really speculate as to who would be the 2020 nominee, I decided to stick with Donald Trump yet again and see how he would do sorry she would do against someone like him in the 2020 election and i'm really just going to use him as a generic Demo republican base um against hillary clinton the democrats so first of all no she could not have won a second term in the 2020 election to be quite honest with you keep in mind that party fatigue was already starting to kick in back in 2016 and leading up to this election in 2020 it's pretty much good news for the democrats that they did not win in 2016 because if they had not won I mean, if they did win, 2020 would be a bloodbath for them, considering that it would have been 12 years of a Democratic presidency. They would be running someone who would have narrowly won the election the first time, who everyone expected to win by such large margins. And it would also enrage the Republican base that they had another Clinton-Obama type Democrat in the White House for another four years. At least with Donald Trump in, you're able to take the midterms, whereas Hillary Clinton, if she was president looking at that 2018 Senate map and governor map, the Republicans would have won big. And, you know, they could have won somewhere around 60 senate seats in the 2018 midterms if they had hillary clinton as a president you know there was a time where hillary clinton if she was president the republicans would have won 67 seats in the senate so not good for the democrats to have a hillary clinton presidency back in 16 which a lot of people didn't really focus on because they were focused on the issue at the moment and avoiding a trump presidency but to be honest with you right now the senate elections um could be held for the democrats and they have only one person to thank for that and that is donald trump so when we look at this map hillary clinton is not going to hold on to a number of these voters we saw a drastic turn from 2012 leading into 2016 and if these states did hold its democratic identity it would not be by a lot so looking at this map wisconsin michigan and pennsylvania pennsylvania you can make an argument for her winning there michigan as well but wisconsin voted for donald trump by over a percentage point meaning you would need to convince a couple more voters than some other states you might um, need to in order to flip the state back to the Democrats. But when we look at the map, well, Wisconsin probably would flip, Michigan as well, Pennsylvania. And keep in mind, this would put Trump at his map back in 2016. In all these states, Hillary Clinton would have narrowly won back in 2016. So when we lead into 2020, these states are up for grabs and the Republicans have a clear shot at possibly winning here if it came down to a rematch election or just a generic Republican versus Hillary Clinton, considering she would be extremely unpopular. America would have no idea of what a Trump presidency would seem like, so she would have to act very presidential because, again, people wouldn't compare it to any other presidency. So when we look at this map, Hillary Clinton would have an uphill climb, especially since party fatigue already kicked in. And if she had one, it would be very extreme at this point because not just the Rust Bowl would flip, but New Hampshire could possibly flip. Nevada could possibly flip. I mean, there's a whole array of Republicans who could actually win in this race. I mean, almost every Republican would beat Hillary Clinton in a rematch in 2020 if she had won the presidency the first time only because she would have party fatigue against her. She would have a whole number of other factors and enraged Republican base after 12 years of a Democratic presidency. I mean, we saw it happened after George W. Bush. H.W. Bush, my bad, um, was able to win by a considerable amount in 1988. And then we went into 1992. I understand the argument about Ross Perot, but it was still a Democratic landslide. Um, what we would consider a landslide by today's standards, but was not a landslide back then. So looking at this map and just the candidates themselves, Hillary Clinton would have not have won a second term in the 2020 election. Anything but for right now. But Again, she's not president, so we can't really change much about this map. And until new information or new approval polls comes out about her, which there probably won't be for a while until we lead up into the 2018 midterms around the, a couple months before where they talk about prominent figures and they just want to see how they would do in the 2020 election. When many people do speculate that Hillary Clinton is going to run again, this could be something that could actually be a topic in the future. So thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down suggestions below, and I will see you all tomorrow.